trying this again since the first recording had me cutting off enough of the first sentence for it not to make sense. Pondering what to vlog about after watching more vlogs from Jessica Flores' page. Link in the comments. I decided to do Camp Nano updates. It's not always obvious since writing process is often enough a unifying theme for my vlogs. It's just not always obvious at anything but a subtle level. I wish I could find more about deaf and hard of hearing experiences with BDSM, especially with the dominant being the person with the hearing issue. It seems more of the limited resources I've found have focused on the submissive being the one with the hearing issue. Thankfully, I've had a fellow author who's experiencing hearing loss who has managed to point out when I was overthinking things. To use the writing term I've heard in a few nano things I've listened to, I think I've written the inciting incident. And so I'm thinking about what technology would be desired or needed just for my one female character, B, as well as what would help her as a dominant in the BDSM sense. So that last paragraph sounded overall positive, didn't it? Hmm, and paragraph. I guess that's the danger of being a novelist and writing a vlog script. I see the paragraphs even if the pauses aren't obvious when I'm recording. I'm looking at the snippet that makes the next paragraph. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to censor a swear word. But yeah, this coming snippet is both word padding toward my Camp Nano word goal, as well as depressed ranting that, in part, came earlier than normal for me in this Camp Nano cycle. Why am I even writing this? Who will ever want to read this? I can't even promote it in Life Group, Life Prince Group, because erotica? But oh, it has sign language in it. How sad, Shaman sharing that thing about depression. And the things that he complains about me doing. All fucking 15 of them showing up on that list. I am easily hundreds of words behind everyone else, and my depression is fucking with me. Blah. So I only ended up censoring the captions. Yeah, on the seventh day of Camp Nano, I was already wondering what I was doing. If anyone would ever read this, you're supposed to write for Nano without thinking about people eventually reading it. That's not the way I tend to write, though. So I really have been watching a bunch of Jessica Flores' vlogs. She's given me lots of thought that impact upon the story, Two Houses, with B likely to need hearing aids soon. Like her vlog about how to decorate your hearing aids. She uses her own as an example. I'm thinking to ask her or Jill and Jenna on ASL Stew about sitting, signing, sitting down. Since I do the majority of my ASL practice in my armchair, and I don't lower my elbows to the sides all that often. I'm sure if you've watched more than one vlog of mine, you've seen the portion of my arm that ends up on the arm of my chair during recording. See, not a lot of space. And I've managed to lose where I was. Now, let's slip to somewhere more fun. I mentioned some vlogs ago about including snippets sometimes in vlogs. You already got the ranty meta rant about my writing. I debated what to show for something better or more fun. After all, I debated a lot starting this book. One big consideration for me as an author who is bisexual was if I wanted to show Teal, the main character who is the narrating I in the story, having sex with both Gareth 
her husband and dominant, and B, her girlfriend and dominant. We bisexuals don't get good or enough representation in the media, and so I worried about my story. From a publishing perspective, it seems readers who are interested in and or will read female-female sex scenes don't want to read male-female sex scenes. These concerns dribbled over to what I wanted to share here in this vlog. As well, though I'm blunt and descriptive on this channel, I've never talked directly about sexual activities. In my writing, the sexual activity happens on screen. I don't fade to black. After some thought, I decided to share the first sentence and a little bit of the first scene. And now I will tell you the story of how I came to have two homes. My home with her and my home with him. I saw her sitting in her wheelchair, studying the front of the long, empty house across the street. I wanted to see how long her white blonde hair was as it fell between her and her chair. She wheeled her chair backward as if to gain a wider perspective of the house. To her left, a tall man stood using ASL that I couldn't understand. She turned her head just as my bisexual pride flag rippled out wide. When her dazzling green gaze met mine, I smiled and signed, Hello, you understand sign? My heart pounded with my first signing directed at a living, flesh and blood, present person. Her smile grew. Hello, my name is B. Yours? She signed back. I swallowed hard and then finger spelled, T-E-A-L. I drew in a deep breath before signing the one sentence I was pretty sure I knew. I'm learning to sign. For more mature snippets, you'll need to either go to my website or my Facebook author page. Those links will be with my other social media in the comments, as usual. I hope to do, do these Camp Nano updates once a week, and here's hoping they'll be more positive from here on out. If you know of any articles or resources that discuss BDSM from the dominant view that also intersects, intersect with deaf and hard of hearing people, please share, and please consider subscribing. You will always find captioning on my blogs, and they vary widely in their specific topics.